today is Tuesday, so we're going to do another tips and tricks. I just want to give um, a couple of minutes for people to see who's on. How was everyone's weekend, even though it's Tuesday? Doo -doo, is anybody in the club? Want to watch a video? I have one. Let's see if anybody else wants to come on. Oh, I got two. I'll give it another couple seconds. And then I'm going to give you some tips, followed by some tricks. Hi, Christy. Just waiting for people. No, nobody's out right now. Besides Christy. Oh, got three viewers. Okay, so anyway. Today's Tips and Tricks Tuesday is a little bit later in the day. Um, I try to get them out around noon, but it is my grandmother's 74th birthday. And so we took her out to lunch with my mom and um, a couple of my aunts and my cousin. And when we all came back home, um, we baptized my son. So it has been a very, very busy day. Um, so for today's Tips and Tricks Tuesday, I want to, hi Rachel. I want to go over customer service um, in a couple of different things. So customer service is got to be a very, very, very strong thing in your business. You have to know how to respond appropriately and you have to know how to sound professional and you don't want to use like short terms. If somebody comes up to you, I get this question like a thousand times, um, I get a question for I have a listing that's got three different nose rings so it's a nose ring quantity of three I can only have so many variations so they can only select one so then I get a message saying how do I select can I select more than one color or how do they all have to be the same color lots of people would reply to that question and just say yes oh, okay I reply to that question as in if the person left their name at the end of a message they sent me I will use that name I'll say hi so-and-so or if they didn't use a name and they only show their username I'll just say hi um, sure you can absolutely get three different colors please select your first color from the drop-down menu and then at checkout there is a quote-unquote notes to seller section in that area you can list the two other colors you would like please let me know if you have any other questions thank you Lisa whole paragraph okay that's how you want to respond to your customers. Now, yes, in my descriptions, it specifically says, if you want more colors, it literally says what I just told that customer. But you don't want to say something to your customer like, um, well, as it says in my listing description, you never want to accuse the customer of anything. You want to have good customer service by always just giving them what they need. Don't accuse them. Don't make them feel guilty. Don't make them feel stupid for asking an obvious question. Just sure I'd love to help you and also at the end of that by saying please feel free to ask more questions that lets you know lets them know that you know it's it's okay that they came up to you and asked a question so just when you're filling out replies to customers make sure it, you're trying to to fill it out in a full structure now if you end up talking to that person back and forth three or four times you don't have to do that every single time you can then go into regular conversation mode and then, you know, you would say, uh, thanks, and I'll talk to you later at the last one. Um, also, just be careful with smiley faces. Lots of people like to use them. Just read your customer first. If your customer messages you and they use smiley faces, I have no problem smiling back at them. But if a customer messages me and they have, like, proper text format and proper punctuation and a proper signature at the bottom, then I can tell that they're approaching me in a higher um, they expect me to be represented a certain way I can tell that they're being more professional and you want to reciprocate that you want to show them that you're that professional figure that they're expecting you to be if somebody says hey hi smiley face yada 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 question mark heart then it's okay to reply like that but just try to read your customers and make sure that you're responding with the the type of formality that they're already addressing you with now, somebody posted in Club Flourish, and I am so sorry, I already forgot her name because I am terrible with names. Can't even keep my kids straight. Um, about Convo Snippets. 
I had no idea about this. This will save me a million time, a, a million minutes. It's a long time. But <laughs> I already have my common responses saved in, 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 a, in a page on my site. <laughs> um, so that if it's a common answer, I highlight it, you know, edit it to make it personal and then send it. But I didn't know that Etsy has a little button on the right hand side that looks like a little conversation bubble and you can click it and you can save what you just typed and then you can give it a title. So like um, shipping status, material, um, whatever you get a common question about, customizations, and you can just click, click, send. I so please use that, especially with the holidays coming up. And if you sit there and you get repetitive questions, how long does this take to ship? Do you do any custom orders? What is the size of this? Do, do a snippet. That's really, really good. Um, on the other side of customer service, I just wanted to bring up um, reviews. Lots of people have never had a lower than five star review. Um, if you are hit with a three star or lower review, you will have the option to leave a um, public response. Please do not automatically do that when you get this kind of a situation. If you respond to a public response on a three star or less feedback, you cannot change, or the customer cannot change it. You're locking it in place. You're locking those words in place. You're locking their ranking in place. That's it. If you get a three star or less, please message the customer first, both via Etsy and in um, an email, and just see if there's anything you can do to resolve their problem, whether it was delayed shipping, whether it was they think it got broken, if it's something that you can fix. You want to say, I am so sorry that you did not have 100% satisfaction with your product. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I'm willing to give a coupon if you want to try a different product. I'm willing to resend you this piece if it broke. Um, and then a lot of times they'll go back and they'll edit their, their review. Um, I completely misread a conversation once. Because I do nose rings, I don't do um, exchanges for sanitary reasons. I cannot take back a nose ring. And she kept saying, can I return this item? And I was like, no. I'm like, you, you don't, don't bother wasting your money because I can't reuse that item. Please do not waste money on a stamp and mail the item back to me. Give it to a friend or something. I cannot take back this item. And then she sent it back and she's like, I don't have any friends that don't have a real nose ring. I don't need this. And then she went and left me a one star review saying that I refused to give her her money back. And that I refused to work with her and that I wouldn't give her her money and she wasn't satisfied. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I totally misunderstood that. When you said that you wanted to return the item, I didn't know that you wanted to exchange. Or when you said exchange and return, I didn't know that meant you wanted a refund. And I was like, if you're unhappy with the product, I can totally give you a refund. I just don't want you to send me the nose ring back. And it was just a miscommunication. So I messaged her and we worked it all out. And then she went and she changed it to a three star, but she, um, which is, you know, still not great, but it's better than one. And then she changed it from horrible customer service to um, good customer service willing to work with me. She went from completely dogging me and saying I was horrible and that I wouldn't listen to her. And it was just like being married. It was a complete miscommunication. Um, so just always try to message them with bad feedback, try to get, try to figure something out. Um, and there's lots of people that don't know that if they leave a public response that it's, it's permanent. And so even if you have to leave one, please make sure that it's professionally worded. Um, make sure you don't sound like you're attacking the customer at all. Make sure you don't make, make it sound like you're blaming the customer because no matter what is wrong, if the customer is not happy, it's your, it, even if it's the postman's fault, you still have to accept responsibility for it. If something doesn't get delivered on time, the customer's gonna blame you. It doesn't matter if it was raining, it doesn't matter if there was a snowstorm, the customer's gonna blame you, because that's what they do. So you just have to just bite the bullet, say, yep, I'm sorry, I didn't get it out sooner, blah, 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 kiss the customer's butt, get good feedback. <laughs> it's a little difficult sometimes, but those were my two tips for today is um, try to um, work in your convos, 
when you respond to a customer, make sure you're filling it all out and don't, please don't do one and two word responses because that really, it kind of subliminally tells the customer that you're not willing to put that much time into, you know, properly starting a conversation with them. Um, and use those snippets. I had no idea those were things. I will be using them from now on. Um, and you can still edit the, edit the snippets to make it personal to each customer. And then just try to contact any customers that leave a harsh review. And if you really feel offended in a, in a review, they do have a couple days to edit it. So, you know, if you have to take a step back, breathe for 24 hours, get your head clear, realize that they're not actually physically stabbing with you with a knife. They're not actually hurting you. It's just a visual thing that you read that hurt your feelings. So just try to calm down a little leave a nice message for the customer and try to work it out. So having excellent customer service is really going to help you get through these holidays. Always try to um, under promise and over deliver. It, it, it'll help you win. And then people will brag about how awesome you are. They will brag about how fast your shipping is because you said it was going to be two or three weeks and you got it out in one week. Trust me, over promise. Sorry, don't over promise under promise, over deliver. Um, and just be nice in your customer service. Save those snippets, save time. All right. If you guys have any questions about how to reply to a convo, how to save snippets or how to reply to, you know, a customer that left a bad review, please feel free to leave any questions or anything in the comments. I might not get a chance to check on them today because like I said, I've been out of the house all day. Um, with my grandmother's birthday and my son's baptism. So I will try to answer them at least by tomorrow. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. And I'll see you later on the wall. Bye, guys.